Hey guys, Beatrix here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys another cloth tag tutorial thing. But this time it's not getting into anything new, actually, we're just doing something, um, just like a review. And, um, basically what we're going to be doing today is two different things, since they're both small. First, we're going to be levitating, um, cloths. And then secondly, we are going to be, um, making simulating jet engines on cloths so that'll help out with like the tutorial I did last week which was on the jet engines so you can make like a um, blanket like fly away from a jet engine so this is all really easy if you understood what I said and what I've done for the other cloth tech tutorials you'll understand like how to do it before I teach it but yeah so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna start with the jet engine one actually so actually before I make the blanket, I'm gonna make a crappy jet engine. So I'm just gonna take like a 90 degree jet engine like this, um, duplicate it, and then rotate that rotation 180 degrees. Oh no, not 180. What was that? No, 90 degrees. No, okay, never mind. Okay. Maybe it's 70 degrees. There we go. And then I'm gonna make it a bit smaller just to make that. I don't know what that is. It's supposed to be a jet engine, but if you have a better jet engine model, I was too lazy to buy them to get one off the internet. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna rotate this now to 90 degrees. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's close enough. Um, crap, whatever. Okay, so yeah. And then I'm gonna make it a bit bigger, just like the more surface area is being covered by the wind from this. Uh, we want to make sure that this, the, um, what is this, the X, the X is lined up with the uh, jet engine so it'll give a better effect. Then we're going to go on, like you know, to add our cloth tags. And then, um, yeah, we'll add the cloth tag. We're going to click on it, press C, so this thing pops up. Um, we're going to go down, and we're going to click the cloth, go down to forces. So now, oh crap, what a shame. Oh yeah, so you want to keep the gravity the same because gravity is what keeps it um, falling like a real bag. Unless you want to make it like space, and then you can set it to like zero, which floats around everywhere. Um, I'm actually, before I'm going to do this, I'm going to make a floor so that uh, it's like the jet engine and everything. Yeah, so here, I'm going to make a collider. So um, I'm going to go to cloth collider and then now what this is going to do is that it's going to the bag if it hits anywhere on the floor anywhere like even past this it'll slide along along the floor so bring this up oh no okay here um yeah i have to restart that just grab these bring them up a bit let's remake that cloth okay let's rotate 90, 90, 90 degrees. Bring this up a bit, so it's above the floor, and then I'm gonna extend it just a bit. Not that much, just a bit. Um, bring this up. Actually, I'm gonna bring the engine up as well because I want it to hit the center of the blanket. So yeah, there we go. Um, now we're gonna go. On, we're gonna make this a cloth tag. So we're gonna make it a cloth, and then now I am gonna go and change the wind direction only for X because X is the direction that is coming to us from. So we're gonna make I don't know like five, and then we're gonna take the wind strength. Now you're gonna make okay. Now you're gonna make the wind strength very large because um it's a jet engine, but if you get too large it'll just mess up the thing. So. Hmm. Oh yeah, and then you need the strength. So alright. Yeah, so uh hmm. Oh that's not working. Did, did we do everything right? Huh. It's weird. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me just find out what happened. Oh yeah, okay, okay, I fixed it. We gotta click on it and press C so that this thing will pop up. Um okay. So right now I think I made a mistake. Uh, you're supposed to make it actually negative. So if we click on the cloth and go to forces, put X, make X under negative, 
negative 5 because that will make it go away from the jet engine so towards it so 5 and I realize that strength is the strength we made too much like you can't even see it so if we make this yeah okay see now I made it too much so that's what happens when you have too much it stretches and, and like distorts it oddly so we don't want the turbulent strength to be that much but we want the strength to be pretty big Okay, that wasn't big at all. Um, but yeah. oh hey, not collide. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Which one? Do okay, okay, okay. I got this now. Okay, let's see. Let's delete the floor. Um, I'm gonna try and make an even larger floor so that this one doesn't touch it. And we'll get the other plane back up here. For sure now, yep, now it'll just, oh hey, okay. no, no, I didn't add the, uh, clock, collider, I believe, that's it, right, did it work, yes, okay, I don't know what's happening with that, I don't know why it's flying this way, but, well, you can figure that out on your own, okay, so, um, right now, I guess the last thing I just need to do is take up the strength a bit, and to do and so by doing that, you know, like blast it away. You can make it even more yourself, but I just like leaving it like this. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, take up the strength as much as you want, and then you know fly as far away as you want it to. I don't know why it just comes back. That's weird. Um. So yeah, that's the first tutorial. Second tutorial: how to levitate objects. Now. This is pretty easy, and sometimes it glitches. So when you make your uh, claw, after you make it, claw, let's see, uh, we're not gonna add any um, air effects or any forces. So we're gonna go under sphere, go down a bit, and then uh, make this sphere collider. Um, claw collider. Now that we have this, we press C on that again. And then what we're going to do with this is that we're going to make this invisible in the editor as well as the rendering. So this means that you can't see it now. So we can try and click it. It's not there. You can only see it like that. Um, and then, yeah, so now if you drop this, you can see that it kind of like bulges up there. And there's nothing down there. But now one thing else is that the clock goes into itself. So that's something else that like you can fix later. But now what you want to do with this is that um we're gonna make this, we're gonna make the sphere kind of like move upwards. So by like 180 frames, it'll be like up here. We'll keyframe that. So oh, hold on one second. My phone is who the heck? It was like a, it was like a telemarketer. Okay, so. Uh, we're back, and right now, so we just made the keyframe. I'm gonna press play. So now, look, uh, the sphere starts to make it fly upwards, and that's pretty cool. Now, you don't need to um, make the sphere invisible, but I prefer to. And then, yeah, so another thing you could do with this is like you can have text under it. So, make some mo text. Put it there, uh, put this under there, and then now what we're gonna do is that we are um, gonna make this like say something. What are we gonna make this say? Let's see. Let's say, Visual Films. There we go. And now when you lift it up, oh, I saw that. Yeah, uh, I have to make that a collider as well. And then BAM! Here, so here. Just change that right now so that no one gets confused. You want to go to cloth tags, collider, let's see it. Oh crap. Okay, what happened? Press C. I don't know what that did. Hmm. Why did that work? Okay, collider. Yeah, well, that's basically it. Just glitches a bit, uh, and then yeah, boom, we just done. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it was not that big of a tutorial. I'm I'm right now learning something new with like hyper nerves and everything. 
that'll make this really cool. So I'll show you guys that afterwards. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It may come out even, that video may even come out before this video, so we'll have to see. I'll see you guys next Friday. Peace.